Changing the mirror caps on the Hyundai Santa Cruz. I'm going all black. Let's see how difficult or easy this is to do. Okay, here we go. We're on the driver's side. I'd already done the passenger side, but I'm not sure it's exactly right. So I started off right here on this little thin piece and it's easier to do because I can grab the cover that I put on to kind of pull it out a little bit and that's it. It just pulls out like so. Then I went up here to the corner and kind of pulled that up a little bit too and kind of worked my way around. It does pull out pretty easy. There's no screws or anything at this point, but there's going to be in a minute. So let's go ahead and uh, see if I can get out of the way of the camera. And we're going to see about pulling this side off. Hopefully it comes off as easily as the other one did. Just kind of grab the edge and just kind of start pulling. And the mirror does turn in, uh, just so you're aware. And you just kind of work your way around. It's uh, an exercise in patience for sure. Okay, I did pull it off and took a little pause there. And actually, I just pulled from here out and it pulled right off. Matter of fact, it actually fell off on the floor. But starting again right here, after you pull this little thin part out, it just pulls off. That's it. It's held on by these little pressure kind of things on the back. Now, I did mention screws. There are a couple screws inside here. You have to take those out to pull this black piece off, which is going to go on the new cap. That's pretty much it. Um, on the other one, I did break this one. It uh, did not want to come out. I will say it's easier to do, I think, without the cap on. So I'm going to remove the cap. It's just held on by double-sided tape. Um, and then I should be able to remove these screws and pull this off. There are a couple of little pressure, uh, I don't know if you want to call them pens, holders. One pushes this way, one pulls that way. That releases the side and then the rest of it just pulls off. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, I went ahead and pulled my cap off. Um, just again, held on by double-sided tape. So that just gives a little more room for this part to pull off at the edge, which is what you want. So I'm gonna go ahead, remove these two screws in here. That's gonna uh, allow me to remove this black trim piece, which again, you have to have. So those out. Make sure you keep track of these little dinky screws because you're going to need them. Then, as I mentioned, you want to push in these little tabs down here. That's going to allow it to release. Now, a little tip for you. Um, not a bad idea to heat this up a little bit with a hairdryer. Just makes these more pliable so they don't snap. I'm going to do that, and then we're just going to go ahead and pull this piece off. All right, got the end put back on the new cap, which by the way, I painted. I ordered this from uh, Hyundai, and you can order these as well. Uh, there's a video about it, shows the part number and all that stuff. It's on the channel if you wanna check that out. There's the screws back inside. And by the way, I did not fully break off this tab this time. Uh, it did kinda turn a little bit, but it didn't break. So I put a little bit of glue on the end where the crack is, hoping it kinda seeps into the crack, uh, but I think it's gonna be okay. It's tight anyway. I'm not sure why you really need it. I don't think you do. So now we're gonna go ahead and put this one on and uh, we'll see if I have the other one on correctly. Okay, this is just a matter of patience. Now I mentioned I wanna see if it's on correctly, the other side that is. And what I'm talking about is right across the top of the mirror. Not sure if this lip here is supposed to go underneath or not. I don't think so because it kind of has uh, a little ledge, if you will, that sandwiches in underneath here. So I think I'm okay, but we'll find out once I get this on and see how it compares looks wise to the other side, but I'm thinking it's all right. So now 
It's a matter of squeezing everything back together gently. Gently is the key here. Uh, you want to go slow and just kind of squeeze things in. You may hear a little bit of crackling. I think that's uh, going to be pretty normal, but here we go. Get the top on, I think. Now, get this little edge in here. There, you heard the crack. That's what we wanted. And let's see if I have the top on properly. I'm going to take a look at the other side. I can't quite tell. So let me do that and I'll come back on and We'll let you know. I'll show you what I'm talking about, too. Okay, hopefully you guys can see. What I'm talking about is this little lip, this edge right here that goes all around. You see how that's nice and uniform? It looks like it's fitting in there well, and I think it is. I think everything is fine on this side. Everything looks good to me, nice and tight, nothing moving. Now, let's check the other side because that is my concern. And I'm talking about right here on the edge. See how that's a little bit higher there? I don't think that's right. I think it's a little bit off. I think it actually needs to go further down in. So I may pull this one off and give it a quick go just to make sure that it's right because I don't think it is. And this is a picky thing. Some people would probably leave it just like this, but it doesn't look right to me. So I'm going to pop this off and reseat it. All right, got it all done. It actually, I think, took me longer to shoot this video, all time considered, than it does to do this little mod. Uh, it's pretty simple. The hardest part is painting it uh, and then being careful that you don't break anything or chip any paint off of your newly painted covers when you put them on. But let's take a look and we'll get to that little imperfection I talked about here in just a second. But this is what they look like. I did go with a gloss black. Um, I could have gone matte, I could have gone with whatever I wanted, but I thought gloss would look better along with the shiny windows, the shiny windshield, the black across the top is kind of a gloss looking black. So I thought it would look better and I wanted something that kind of popped a little bit as much as black can, I suppose. Uh, and that's what I got and I'm digging it, I like it. I like it better than the cover or the caps rather that I put on. There's nothing wrong with the caps. Uh, if you like the look and like that it's something sitting on top of something else, which was really my biggest problem, when I looked close enough at it, I could see that it was a cap sitting on top of the mirror cover, if you will. So I didn't want that. I like this much better. Uh, let's take a look at the other side and I'll show you that area I was talking about. This, of course, is the look. Um, I think it's awesome. Just a little something, something to set it apart. A couple things I do want to mention. When I put it on, I did right here in, I think it's this area, could be up here. I did kind of chip the paint a little bit, pushing this in. So it's good to make sure that whatever color you go with, you have a little bit left of the exact same thing. I just took the spray can, sprayed it on a, a lid actually, and then dabbed it with a brush. It was very minor. But I knew it was there. I had the paint, so why not fix it? Over here on this edge, everything is good. It lined up well. I did take it off and put it back on again. It's just the way it fits. And I think when I painted it, or maybe when I put it on, I might have actually scratched just this little edge, chipped this little edge a little bit, and you could kind of see the color underneath. That's why it stood out to me. Now I think it looks perfect, no issues with it at all. Might have gotten a little paint right there. Uh, eh, dirt or paint, I don't know, but it came right off. Anyway, I like it, I think it looks good. Let's uh, take one quick look again at this edge as compared to the other edge. And it can't fit any other way, so it is what it is, as they say. And if you look here, it looks the same. You have this kind of little 
lip here on the outside and then a little ledge here on the inside, but it looks exactly the same. I will say the driver's side came out perfectly. No issues with any paint or anything else. It all worked really well. So what I have now is the black mirrors, of course, or the blacked out mirrors. And then I did end up going, finally, I decided to go with the blacked out badge. It is done with a truck liner or a bed liner. Gives it a little bit of texturing, which kind of catches the light and sparkles a little bit in the light. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but it gives it a little bit of definition, if you will. And I think that ties it in with the mirrors that of course you can see at the same time when you're looking at the truck. I think it looks awesome. I'm happy with the outcome. For me, it's well worth the investment. It didn't cost that much. I think it was 170 bucks plus paint. Uh, to do those caps or covers, so not too bad. Again, there is a video uh, of me painting those where I gave the part numbers. You don't have to go with black, you can paint them any color you want. Now, one other thing I wanna mention real quick before this video gets way too long is I'm considering blacking out the door handles as well. Not sure about that yet. Again, just something to add a little bit of depth, a little bit of uniqueness to the truck. I think that would look pretty good. One thing I do want to check while we're at it in the back, it is black already here. So the handles would tie into this black handle, if you will, that we have in the back, as well as the black lettering for the Santa Cruz name back there. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Something that uh, you'd be interested in doing or eh, you like them the color that they are, why mess with it? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, all about the Toyota Tacoma, mods and reviews and stuff like that, my opinions on things. And Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.